Ladies and gentlemen, if you come across this overhead bank compartment that is closed, that means that it's full. Once again, if it's closed, that means that it's full. We are currently in Puerto Rico. Yes, we flew overnight from JFK, left around midnight. We got here about 5 a.m. Puerto Rico time. They're an hour ahead. And we took a long nap slash real sleep. And we are ready to explore the city. And it is an annual tradition of ours. It is Jumi's birthdaycation. <laughs> fourth straight year we've gone somewhere for her birthday, which is coming up tomorrow <laughs> so today we're gonna explore we're gonna go to Old San Juan we're gonna look for some street art graffiti we're gonna eat a lot of course I mean you know us by now you know what we're gonna be doing <laughs> we were walking to to the nearby beach from where we are staying so we got to get a little of this coastline action because it's 84 degrees here and at home it is snowing like 35 <laughs> and snowing so we left at the right time so right now is perfect weather it's not hot it's breezy right here by the coast you smell that ocean breeze yeah we are here so we got a look at the beach okay checked out the beach it's very wavy right now it's nice it's nice to see the palm trees, feel and smell that ocean breeze. It's gonna be a little bit of a homecoming for me because I visited back in 2011 with a close family friend, George. Shout out if you're watching. And we explored it because he's got family here. He spent a lot of time over the years. But we are ready to go explore Old San Juan. We're ready to eat, we are starving. We haven't eaten since last night. So it'll be cool to go back and explore those old streets again with you. Now where's our Uber? We are inside this old school bakery in Puerto Rico to get first bite of breakfast. This place has been here since 1902. La Bombonera is the place. And well, apparently they renovated the inside, but it's still kind of like they still have old school vibes. We're getting Mallorca, it's that famous pastry, the sweet pastry, it's top with powdered sugar. Uh, I had it a long time ago when I came here, 2011. So let's check it out. She's getting it right from the window. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> yes. We got our pastries. Yes. Uh, Mallorca. And we're trying to eat it outside. Mallorca, very fluffy, light feeling at the bottom. Mallorca is named after the island in Spain, Mallorca. Apparently that's where it came from. Mm. We wanted to start off with the classic. That's how it is. It's a little oily on the bottom. Reminds me a little bit of a croissant, but lighter, not as buttery, fluffy, and that powdered sugar. Very nice. Definitely gonna have more of these today. And we might even try it. We've seen it with egg, ham, and cheese inside. That salty sweet combo. I think we're gonna have to try that. We love that salty sweet. Oh, I want that. We're gonna get that today too. It is beautiful. I can never get tired of these old colorful buildings. They are absolutely stunning. Just light blue, purple, light green, orange, yellow. It's unbelievable. It's actually the first place where I visited that had this kind of architecture, the colonial Spanish architecture. 
And since then, together, we have been to Casco Viejo in Panama City, which looks similar with the architecture, and Cartagena. In Colombia. In Colombia. And even Mazatlan in Mexico. We are at diner. Yeah, it's a looking breakfast place. lunch counter. They only sell breakfast and lunch here. They close up, I believe, at 4:30. Cafe Manolin Old San Juan. It's a lot of locals who come here. You got the breakfast menu, lunch menu. Our first lunch of the day: banana juice. This is the fresh orange juice. I haven't had this in seven, almost eight years. Cheers. All right, so we got mofongo plantains, and we got more plantains, because why not? And I love them too. All that garlic on top. Oof. A couple sauces here. It's supposed to be a chimichurri sauce. A hot sauce. Try the hot sauce first. It was vinegary. Put that one up this thing. Mmm, it's creamy. That creamy heat. The lime on that mofongo. Now, cut it open. And there's more shrimp inside of there. See a lot of garlic on top, some chopped peppers. Let's take a bite. Mm. So garlicky, so soft, tender, juicy. It has that flavor from the shrimp embedded all the way into it. So let's also take a look at one of the shrimp inside, shall we? Really good. Mofongo sometimes can be dry. This is so moist, so soft, it's cuts apart so easily. It's delicious. That liver, the onions look so good. That was so good. Ooh. I'm kind of stuffed. Yeah, I'm pretty full too. Uh, we feasted in there and now we're gonna go walk it off a little bit and we're gonna go probably eat a little bit more after that. So, yeah. I thought we were gonna get. That Mallorca. Mallorca? Yeah, let me see the timing. I think they, that one closes at 3, I think. They close at 3. This place closes at 4.30. 4.30. Is another spot for Mallorca. So we just can't get enough. Uh, we might get it stuffed with ham and cheese this time. It's salty, sweet. And, and they close at three. That's why we're rushing after we just ate a big meal. We're gonna go, of course, with the most complicated one, with the most ingredients: jamón, queso, y huevo. You gotta get egg on this. There's no way you don't. Ham and the cheese, why not? Now we got our Mallorca. I can already see through the paper, looks like it's been griddled. Look at that, look how flaky. The layers, there's the cheese, the ham, and then the Mallorca. Look at all that powdered sugar just caked on top. Yeah, that bottom looks almost like a French toast, the way they grill that bottom. It's all together. That's why, you know, we just had a Mallorca, but we want to get another Mallorca because we want to see what, how it tastes with the savory and how it tastes after they cook and griddle it a little bit. So, let's check it out. Mmm. To me, it is like a blend of a croissant and a zeppeli. The zeppeli because of powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. More, but saltier and buttery because of the griddling on the bottom. I wish we could have gotten it with the egg. We were supposed to. He forgot. It's okay, we weren't gonna make go back and make another one, it's all good. It's so good. I love that savory, sweet, salty. Mm. That Mallorca was Mallorca. so good. It was excellent. Savory, sweet, that made us want to get more tomorrow. We'll go to a different spot and we're gonna get it with egg this time, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> but all was well too. It worked out really tasty. At least we get to try what's with no, no egg. egg. Yeah. Hey, we gotta try all it tastes with just ham and cheese. It's very that that powdered sugar really just 
so good. Makes it. And it's, and it's still light, you know, it's fluffy, it's light. It's a, it's a very unique, it's a PR classic. I just remember having this about eight years ago. It may have been from that spot, actually. Isn't it? Rain is pouring and it's time to find shelter. This is actually the best place for us to get caught up in some rain because it is beautiful and we had some shade very relaxed for the middle of the day we're heading to castillo san felipe el moro right it's right there right outside the top here of El Morro and this is right behind us is the tower it dates back to the 1500s it's the oldest part of the fort uh, the rest of it dates back to the 1700s they say it looks pretty similar now to it then we're wondering if we can go up we think yes we'll find out let's go the fort now we're leaving the fort we're gonna head back into the old san juan and we're gonna have some pina coladas based on a recommendation from my man george who i traveled here with almost eight years ago we're here and they're supposed to have the best pina colada in town apparently this is where the pina colada was born uh my family friend george told us to come that we had to get a pina colada here, so that's what we're gonna do. Cool, it looks so, it looks so empty. We have our pina coladas and they smell... Rummy. Strong. <laughs> Originally, this is not the place that we want to eat. Yeah, we actually were closed. But thankfully, we had this as a backup and it's all seafood pretty much. So we're, we're excited. We didn't really have much, we had a little seafood earlier with the mofongo and the shrimp, but now we're gonna get whole fish, octopus, other seafood we have not had yet today. So this looks like your average empanada, but it's not. The filling is the first time we ever had this filling. It's dorado, mahi mahi. Mm, smells good. We got a few sauces here. Avocado hot sauce, lemon hot sauce, tamarind, tamarindo, tamarind hot sauce. And we have a mayo ketchup. Let's take a bite by itself with no sauce. You're always gonna do that first. A lot of fish in here. And now we got the sauce. The avocado sauce. Tamarindo. That was really good. Lemon. It's even better with the sauce. Which sauce do you like it better? Do you have the avocado or the tamarindo? Try the avocado again. Avocado. So we got pulpo. It's always hard for us to not get octopus when it's on the menu, so that's what we did. Uh, so this comes with olive oil. I believe there's kalamata olive infused mayo, reduced balsamic, topped with cilantro. Jumi's favorite. I'll take all her cilantro and more. Thank you very much. We got octopus. Mmm. So tender. Slightly crispy outside, but soft. The sauces work very well together too. Very good. Mm. That looks great. So we 
have whole fried red snapper, a pound and a half. It's the one she showed it to us earlier, how fresh it is. Excited for that. And we got tostones. These aren't plantain tostones. They're made with breadfruit, smashed breadfruit. It's seasonal. We messed up and didn't get them before at Manolin, but the guy next to us said, you gotta try them. So I'm glad we are able to pick some steak and get them here. Oh, it's so fresh. It's well seasoned on the outside. It doesn't even need anything on it. But I will try some of the sauce. Let's take the breadfruit tostone. Mm. More interesting, crispier texture. Yeah. Very neutral kind of flavor. You saw that whole fish before, right? That's all we got left. As many of you will know, the, the head of the fish, quite possibly the best part. Let's just get down and dirty with this thing. Dunzo. Our waitress is really nice. She's in awesome and really cool. And first Madaya Light shrimp. I haven't had this in almost eight years also, the last trip. Last trip I had a lot of these. Cheers. It's nice to have it back. Cheers. With my passion fruit mango okay, frozen Great to be drink. back in Puerto Rico. That is it for today. Yeah, we hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. We had a great first day here in Puerto Rico, San Juan. And stay tuned. We have some more coming from La Isla del Encanto. If this is your first time watching our videos, please subscribe. subscribe. And hit the bell so you find out about our videos right when they come out. You want to be the first one to comment, right? Yes. Ding. And like. Thank you for watching. Good night. Thanks for watching. Peace. I don't even want to break it because. Oh, oh, here she comes. Oh, by far. Look at it.